Hey guys, this is Chris from Super Brick Reviews bringing you guys a review on the Sassy Tins Jedi Starfighter set. The set has 244 pieces and costs uh, um, $30 US and I believe $40 Canadian. Ooh, the price hurts. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. So, this is a very cool set. Right off the bat, I'm going to say I recommend the set to buy. Um, it's a very cool set and you get some wicked figures. So first off, it has two instruction booklets. Um, yeah. So next, the figures. So we got Sassy Tin, the same as in the T6 shuttle, which um, I'm pretty sure is discontinued. It's right there. Um, anyways, um, but you got the new green color lightsaber, so that's pretty cool. But he's exactly the same as in that. You can probably see the torso, probably not. Anyways, as you can see, Evan Peel there. He has black legs. And he um, has double-sided printer, torso printing. Awesome. And then he has his face. And he has awesome headpiece. Kind of weird looking, but awesome. And that's his face. And then you put this on, and he looks kind of grouchy. Then we get his astromech droid R3-D5. And yeah. So if you're wondering where you find this Starfighter and the Clone Wars itself, it is in the... Uh, Citadel series, along with Evan Peel. So I'm guessing that's why they're the Lego company for the sets. They're doing a lot of um, Star Wars, like Clone Wars themes. So they did. I thought they did a really good matchup here because you do see Sassy Tin Starfighter in that, and Sassy Tin and his droid. You know, you see them all, and then you do see Evan Peel in the series. Except he's dead by the time you see Sassy Tin, so that doesn't really work. But um, if you haven't seen it, then spoiler alert. I guess it's a bit late for that. But um. Yeah, so here's the Starfighter. Now, it's much longer than lots of the other Jedi Starfighters that have come out. This one has got to be my favorite. Um, it's it's a bit longer. The other one's actually pretty much like ended here, or whatever, ended here. It's a lot longer and a lot better. So we have two flip fire missiles here. I personally like that. We have um, printed pieces. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's all sticker. Never mind, it sucks. Um, yeah. We have a place for the droid. I love it because you put the droid in here. And the main feature of the set here is that we got the um, stickered up Jedi pod, and then when the ship blows up, this part, the Jax and the droid kamikazes into the thing and dies. Anyways, so this is what makes this set awesome to me, is because we got this whole part underneath that actually, like, once you launch off, it's still, there's still set to it. The other ones, if you took out the cockpit, it's like the entire ship, then there's just these tiny little wings left. This thing, you take out the cockpit, and you still got them. A lot of set. More flick fire missiles. I don't mind them on this set either, so yeah. Uh, once we open up the cockpit, we got room for whatever Jedi. I keep Sassy Tin in here all the time because I don't know, it kind of looks awesome in here. So that's my review on the set. Um, I very much like the set. You get some awesome dark green colors, so that's, uh, that's a plus side. You get Evan Peel, only set that you can get him in. So um, overall, I really do think this is worth it. So. I'm going to put it on my shelf of awesomeness here, so, yeah, right next to my crappy TIE fighter. <laughs> uh, if you guys saw the review, it's like, oh, snap, yep, yeah, TIE fighter wing breaks again. So anyways, um, thanks for watching the set review, um, very good set, I recommend buying it immediately. Um, this is one of the sets, I noticed Starfighters, people don't show that much of an interest in them, and then once they're discontinued, the price of them goes up because this is like the battle pack. This is where you get your Jedi, Mace Windu Starfighter. It's where you can get Mace Windu. Anakin's, you get Anakin's. Ahsoka, you got Ahsoka's. Um, they haven't released one with Obi-Wan, but you know, you get the Jedi. That's This is your way. If you want to get a Jedi, all you got to do is buy the $30 set rather than like buying Palpatine's Arrest to get Mace Windu, you know. So I, I really do like these Starfighter sets. So I definitely recommend them, and I do think that they have a bit of value once they're discontinued. Or at least this one will, because we're getting this awesome Jedi Evan Peel, who's exclusive to this set, as far as I know. Because I don't think that they'll be making any Citadel sets. Because that'll require them to, uh, <laughs> to make the, uh, art troopers. And they're like, nope, we're not making any more clone molds. We're too busy for that, to make you guys awesome clone troopers. Anyway, so, <laughs> so see you guys later. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, and peace out.